Spryo the Dragon. You may know him originally from his video game debut appearance in the Skyrim Landers series. When he was just a young boy, his cruel father disapproved of his life choices and abandoned him in the Dragon Realms. But luckily he met lots of new friends. One day he just hopes his mother will come back and return for him. Today's story though begins with Papa Shrek, the main villain of the series, you know, until, until there was a second game. So Shrek's just chilling, watching the local news, but this TV broadcast comes on saying Shrek's brother, Nasty Nork, stole a big pink dragon and helped promote dragon donkey bestiality, which I don't know if you guys know, but this is a topic very frowned upon in the dragon and donkeys communities respectively. On the bright side though, it's board game night in the dragon realm, so Papa Shrek, he grabs his box of chutes and ladders and heads on down. But now all of a sudden no one's gonna play with him anymore, they're acting all afraid of him. Thus, he does the only logical thing and freezes all the dragons in one place, so now they can't run away. Only one problem though, he missed Spryo who was busy taking his jeep off-roading at the time. So Spryo gets back to Artisans and sees everyone frozen in stone and he, at first he's really scared, but then he just looks on the bright side. You know, a good thing about this is now no one's gonna judge him for staying up all night playing Just Dance 3 for the Wii at least. But you know, after a few hours of just dancing, he needs his pals back. Now Spryo begins his quest to save the dragons, saving not all of them, but just enough to get to the next homeworld each time. Real talk, imagine how awkward it is for the dragons that don't get saved because they're just part of the shitty side missions. Like you saved everyone else bro, you just moved on to the next world cause I'm off in the distance and apparently you can't swim until the next game where water magically stops hurting you or I guess you're just a lying jackass. Yeah, boom roasted. So anyways, Purple Gex ventures from world to world removing stone that is covering dragons by just, you know, walking up to it and doing absolutely nothing else and making it all shiny. On the way, he fights off countless enemies. This sheep, who's not that scary, but he's actually kind of a sneaky bastard. You'll see a little bit later. Ooh, spoiler alert. You know, speaking of real jerks, get ready to run around in circles chasing these assholes. You know, imagine being this big a dick. You know what, take a step back. I believe this is a metaphor representing EA carrying the NFL and Star Wars licenses. Boom, roasted, two in one video, I'm unstoppable. Moving on. You know, now we gotta talk, um, so Spyro, he's about to fight some uh, great boss fights along the way. <laughs> you know, these are uh, instant classics. You get to, I just you gotta give it to him, instant classics. First you got Toasty, who is a, uh, is a guy in a big coat. He's got a pumpkin face. He uh, doesn't really fight back, but uh, plot twist, it's actually that sheep from before, but he's on stilts uh, and he doesn't fight back. And uh, I don't really know why his name is Toasty, but uh, we're moving on to the next one. We're going to give it a chance. Next, you got Dr. Shemp, who uh, he's, a, he's a guy with glasses. He, uh, he spins in circles and walks away. Um, maybe the next one, uh, you got Blowhard, who's uh, actually named Blowhard and looks like a normal enemy. But uh, I didn't make up the name, by the way. Usually I would do that, but uh, it's bad enough. Then you got uh, Metalhead, who is, has a metal head. Uh, then you got, uh, Jocks, who, uh, what the hell is this? <laughs> I mean, these, these boss fights. But back to the real action. You get to the final battleground, which, uh, used to have machine gun wielding monsters, but now is cute like Splatoon. It's time for the epic showdown between Spryo and Papa Shrek, though. This war has been building for generations. Many orcs and dragons have died in attempts to settle these natural differences. But Shrek just wants to play a fun game of tag. Spryo turns him into magic purple dust and saves America, setting up for his presidential run in 2020. But where does Spryo the dragon wind up on the wall? You know, yeah, actually this was this is a tough one, guys. Crash 1 versus Spyro 1. Both classics down of the wire, both improve with a ton with game 2 and 3. But I mean, uh, the boss fights in this game, uh, even Papoopapoo's laughing at good old Jocks, Blowhard, and Dr. Shemp, while, uh, while Crash has this. Anyways, um, uh, Kablamo! Tune in next time to see what Ripto's raging about.